So these are very common examples, which is the reason why I use them. But the first one is what we call the sweetheart will or the I love you will. Again, don't be surprised, this is very common. So the husband's will says, I leave everything to my wife. If she passes first, I'm down to the children. The wife's will says the same thing. I leave everything to my husband, but if he passes first to the kids. Sounds simple enough, right? What's the problem with that? Well, John and Agnes, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, we talked about them earlier. Let's say they have wills like this, and Agnes, she's the, she's the well spouse, okay? She's the spouse at home, but actually, guess what happens? Agnes, she has a stroke or a heart attack. She passes away before John does. Does that happen? Sure, that happens all the time. Um, in fact, unfortunately, the statistics say that if someone has Alzheimer's or dementia, the caregiver passes away more often. The caregiver passes away first um, than the person with dementia because of the stress and strain on, on the caregiver. So, going back here to, let's say this is John and Agnes. So, Agnes passes away, where does the money go to? Goes to John, right? Where's John? John's in the nursing home. So that's going to be a big problem because if, if John is already on a government benefit, it's going to kick him off because he's just received the assets from Agnes. Or if he hasn't applied yet, let's say he's a veteran, he hasn't applied for the benefit yet, he's not going to be able to for the same reason because he's just uh, received all the joint assets from Agnes.